Hi guys, this is Vidas and uh, today I'm going to share with you a special training from Bach's Leipzig collection uh, which I have in my hands. It's called vom Himmelhoch, da komme ich her. Uh, I come from the uh, high uh, sky basically this is a, a christmas chorale and this is uh, canonic variations by johann sebastian bach from himmelhoch da komme ich her bwv 769 it has been my uh, uh, long time dream to master this piece i never played it before although it's a very famous setting but i think this christmas will be the time for me to do it and today i'm starting my training and um, and hopefully you will enjoy it. I figured there will be 11 steps to master this piece. Uh, and before we do this, I want to say a few words about the learning process and about uh, the sample set that I'm using. I'm using uh, MDA sample set uh, from Salisbury Cathedral. This is an English Romantic uh, Father Willis organ. And um, I will set up the registration for the upcoming recital so that I will not forget how it's done. Okay, wonderful. Uh, let's take a look at the score. The score has two, two versions. One is BWV 769 and another is 769a 69 769a is sort of incomplete version uh, which which doesn't have uh, all the variations i'm playing from the uh, complete version uh, which is actually published later in the in the collection not at in the in, in the first half but in the later half with the early editions early versions of Leipzig chorales. So, uh, wonderful. The first variation is uh, written in the canon. Obviously everything is written here in the canon. It's very complex uh, polyphonic writing style and hopefully uh, I will obviously try to uh, analyze it a little bit what's going on. But first, let's talk about uh, registration. Obviously, we don't need very uh, loud. Uh, I could start very loudly, but maybe I will uh, save for organo pleno and mixtures for the end. So I would probably uh, finish uh, or start with the principal or open the Epezion 1. like this um, interesting so this is a canon in octave so the soprano enters at the beginning and one uh, dotted quarter note later the tenor or the middle voice um, Or actually, this is the bass, maybe. The tenor will be uh, the cantus firmus in the pedals. We need two manuals. So how about playing uh, on, this, on, the, on the choir with open diapason? I don't like it. Do you? How about open diapason on this well? No, not really. Uh, we need maybe more contrast between the voices. So what we could do, what I could do is to play the left hand part on the grid with this uh, with this uh, with this principle 
and on the choir I could actually play with flute harmonic 8-4 Nassard like this like this yeah that would be quite nice all right actually i could play with open diapason 2 instead not that loudly instead So for the pedals, obviously I need uh, I need uh, Cantus Firmus voice played uh, with some reed reed like this Claron. If it's not too loud. It's 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 a little bit a little bit too loud, but I could actually play with the trumpet from the or from for the with the reed. like oboe. It's a little bit too soft, so maybe that pedal reed was good. And instead I needed maybe open diapason 1. And a little bit, uh, a little bit uh, more involved uh, soprano part. like this what do you think I think it could work let me save the registration to zero and I will demonstrate the step and actually I will save combination as the BWV769 alright so the first step is to play play the piece uh, and stop at every beat. The beat here is uh, dotted quarter note because there are four of them in the measure. This is 12 8 measure. A 12 8 measure in the hands, but in the pedals it's just for, for 4 meters. So basically, I will stop at every quarter note for the cantus firmus. Okay, like this. Let me check the live stream and we'll be good to go. Good. Uh, let me now turn turn off the mic and play for you, stopping at every dotted dotted uh, quarter note.
isn't this beautiful polyphonic writing? I I really love Bach's uh, penmanship and craftsmanship. Let's take a look now at variation number two. And here uh, he writes um, another variation, Alio Modo, Nel Canone alla Quinta, on two manuals. Uh, a due clavier et pedal. So basically we need two manuals again. And this is a, a canon in a lower fifth. So maybe I will need I will need a, a softer registration now in the hands and in the pedals. Uh, in the pedals, let's say I need instead of clarion eight, how about how about let's say uh, open the basin one or no this is this is octave eight uh-huh and in the hands could be two four foot flutes four foot flutes for example on the grade on the grade could be this flute con covert all right and on the choir i could have flute harmonic like this but fl flute harmonic uh, four foot level like this like this could be uh, very gentle uh, so the first step here is again play and stop at every beat which is a quarter note I will stop at every quarter note let me mute my mic and I will be ready to demonstrate it and by the way uh, the, the fifth lower sounds like this not from C but from F like this Thank you. 
Bach created these variations uh, for the entrance of, uh, of uh, to the society of sciences, and this is really a magnificent uh, gift. Of, uh, basically, his uh, evidence of, of his uh, of his uh, scholarship, because canon writing was very very scholarly work, mental work for the composer. All right, go, let's go to variation three. This is canon, can, Canone alle settima, canon uh, in, in, in the seventh. So, but what we have here, four voices, and uh, the canon is between, between the two lower parts. Two lower parts in the plate in the pedals and in the left hand part, right? And uh, the pedal sounds like this if played with with something more substantial, maybe sixteen and eight, open diapason one, and octave. And in the bass, in in the bass we have very interesting combination. I could also have sixteen and eight in the in the in the left hand part set up, and this would sound like open diapason on the swell. Uh-huh, like this, if it's not too soft. So the, ba the bass starts from the note C and in a major seventh higher we have the canon from B. Hmm. I wonder if I could have instead I could have instead uh, open the bass in 16 and octave in the bass and on the grid I could have I could have for example, double open diapason on the grid and open diapason one. Like this. Aha, uh -huh. obviously we need two manuals. Another manual is needed for the for the alto voice and the soprano with the cantus firmus. Okay, this could work. Maybe, maybe, how about Vox Humana? Vox Humana, right? So reinforced with Flute harmonic for or maybe octa four. So let's do and check the balance. Thank you. 
this could work let me save it as combination number two mm -hmm. and I think I didn't save combination number one right uh, number one was uh, just uh, octave eight in the pedal and those four foot flutes flute couvert and flute harmonic on the grid all right let me ch save set one good let me save entire combination check how the live stream is doing it's doing well and uh, the first step in this variation three would be to actually stop and play every quarter note again let's do this the right hand part will be on the swell on the swell and the left hand part will be on the on the grade
Okay, this was the first step in variation number three. Let's take a look at variation number four. And uh, this is, I think, penultimate, yeah, penultimate variation before the finale. Uh, variation number four is written for two manuals and pedals. And it's called Per Augmentationem Nel Canone All'Octava, which means in augmentation, canon in octave. And where exactly is this canon placed, we will discover right away. There are four voices, soprano in, in the right hand part. Um, let me check. The bass, alto and the tenor, alto and the tenor in the left hand part, and the bass is in the soprano, in the in in the in the pedals. The bass is in the pedals. Yeah, uh, but it's interesting that we have the canon between the soprano and the tenor. It's written on four different staves, right? On four different staves. Therefore, we need a different type of registration. Interesting. So let me play a little bit of the canon, a right hand and the left hand, soprano and the tenor, and you will discover it's in octave, lower octave, but in augmentation, meaning that the left hand part uh, has uh, d double note values, uh, twice as broad. If the first note in the soprano is the, the eighth note, then the first note in the tenor is the quarter note, and vice versa, it's, and so on. It's uh, always doubled augmentation. All right, so let me play it very simply for you. Cancel the registration from previous organ. And maybe I will use for the soprano now. Maybe I will use something louder, right? How about trumpet eight? Like this. This is right, and in the bass we have in the tenor we have the same thing but one octave lower. Uh huh. Maybe I could use eight foot trumpet also on the grid. So it would sound. twice as long dot values. So obviously we would need we would need something in the base, 16 foot of a glider maybe. and eight foot trumpet or clarion. Let me check the balance.
Hmm. Maybe the right hand part needs a little bit more force. Right? So, but do we have any mutations like a cornea? No. Maybe that would be enough. So this will be variation number four or combination number three. All right. And the first step obviously is again to stop at every quarter note in this measure.
Hmm. I really need uh, something like a, a high pitched cornea stop in the right hand part, I think. Mm, but, but, ah, I could actually use the choir and do this. Eight four, no start, tears, flageolet, and trumpet. For example, playing from the from the uh, last phrase, top of the uh, top of the last page, third measure. Maybe my left hand is too strong. So how about playing instead of with two principles on the grade eight and four. Open diapason one and uh, principle one. It's better, I think it's better this way. Maybe I will save this combination then as uh, variation four, combination number three. Okay, like this. So now we have come to the conclusion which has one, two, three, four variations in itself variation five has four canons um, canon alice uh, it's called l'artra l'artra sorte del canone al rovescio basically if, uh, various sorts of canons in in inversion rovescio let me check uh, Yes, yes. Or inversion, uh, where the interval goes upward in one hand, in another hand, the same interval is inverted, goes downwards. All right. So the first is alla sesta in, in the sixth. Uh, the second is in the third. The th third is in the second and the last one is in the ninth canon on in the ninth all right so let me think if we'll need to change registration or not yeah probably we will need to change registration we will need to change registration a few times one two three four times three times during the piece uh, during this variation all right so we can speculate if i am playing for example in the gradually crescendo mode i need to end with the organo pleno with mixtures all right so that would be the, the the last one and three times to add one more sound on top of that it is um, is actually very nice how about playing starting with eight and eight four two 
842 the, the 15th fret uh, in alla sesta alla seconda could be uh, could be the mixture No, alle, alle, sec, alle terza could be the fifth, and then alle terza could be the mixture, alle seconda could be uh, something higher, right? Let me check, let me think. So we don't need those two reeds in the pedals just yet how about open diapason and open bass violone bourdon octave and maybe octave um, flute Probably two manuals are needed. Right, no trumpet. Eight, four, and two. Let's see, yeah. Open diapason on the choir. Gems horn, maybe. La Jolie, like this. The cannon goes like this. And the other was. like this maybe I will reinforce it with the third and the fifth sound mm -hmm. so this could be my variation uh, set uh, f number four and the first step is to play it in the stopping it in every quarter note like this I think uh, oh, I have done enough work for this live stream let's check how it's doing it's almost an hour so I will continue sitting down and uh, doing the steps from from variation number five from from the last finale version so check out uh, my future live streams stay tuned subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell as well all right guys this was with us i'll catch you online in the next video thanks for watching and thanks for supporting me on patreon you made uh, possible me possible to create those videos because they take a lot of effort thanks